You know the feeling? The feeling of shame that comes with believing in yourself before you have anything to show? On August 3rd, 2023, I wrote this following a manifestation prompt. The prompt told me to write a journal entry as if what I wanted already happened. It felt so stupid giving into what felt to blur between new age spirituality and startup tech bro manifesto. That's kind of a bar. So it stopped midway. Went on with my day. August 5th was a Monday. At this point, I just quit what was supposed to be my dream job, a cushy graphic designer role for the biggest movie studio in the world. I used to drive around LA and see billboards of my work. Of the files that lived inside my computer at home, it was trippy and strange and cool and thrilling, and it was also exhausting. 70 hour weeks were never an issue, but I only quit when I realized the art that I spent my life on was never mine. I left the job with an updated resume and countless images I can never share. I tossed everything out in my digital trash alongside with the hours that I can never buy back. So I quit. But quit for what? I call that summer the summer of throwing spaghetti at the wall. I knew I had to build something of my own. I knew democratized social media was my best bet. So I made stupid TikToks dressing up as shrimp and misquoting the neighborhoods of LA coffee shops. I had no social life because I worked all the time, and now, without even that one thing that the world valued me for, I was sitting there, 1am in bed, typing about a fantasy that had nothing in fruition. I wrote, I'm so grateful my friends and colleagues came to my art gallery show opening. Making the leap to devote my full attention to pursuing fine arts was terrifying. I endlessly thank myself for taking that chance and betting on myself. The days I mindlessly created were the best and worst moments of this. One moment I would be seeing the vision, proud, fulfilled, in the state of flow. The next split second I was terrified of paving such an uncertain path, haunted by the hollowness ahead. The thought that would bring me back down to my ten fingers and ten toes was a little mind game of retracing my dream self. I am at the opening night, surrounded by my loved ones at the gallery opening. My name is Izzy Lee, (laughs) and I am a cartoonist with a lot of feelings. (laughs) So what do you do when it all comes true? If you often fear that you're not living in the moment enough or that time is slipping by and you're not taking it all in, I recently came across this idea that might be helpful. I was told to think about your awareness as a glowing ball. And you have the power to move this glowing ball around your mind with your concentration. Whatever you choose to illuminate with your awareness becomes your thoughts, that becomes your day, that becomes your life. And that's why I decided to do a card making workshop with Art Club at Junior High. Whenever you sit down to illustrate or write a card for somebody that you love, that you want to celebrate, you're channeling that focus, that concentration all on that person. It's an immense 
immensely powerful joy that you harness and you put directly on the page through your hands. Look how beautiful they turned out. Being able to host and witness all this amazing art and love being created. It brings the sort of meaning that is so grand and important and all-encompassing that I still feel quite small to accept. But it's the most precious thing I've ever come across. So every day I work to be a stronger version of myself that can accept it gracefully. Thank you for coming LA. I love you. I'll see you at Gallery Opening Night, August 2nd. Also, this is what I do after my events. I wish you that. name do you want me to be like oh my gosh i'm opening blah 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 whatever like, yeah do you want everything's me to... all the text is on the box okay so you can pretty much just read it okay and then when you open it there's gonna be a bag that's sealed and okay. then a little pamphlet paper so i need to yeah. open the bag so open the paper first because okay. that has your options and, and like, you'll be like look at what i can get and you can kind of like marvel yes. at that and then you'll open the bag this reminds me of do you remember all the little characters at mcdonald's and you would yes. put them in the little bag yes. like that. Okay. okay so are you ready to see the box This looks just like, exactly. this is like so on brand. <laughs> exactly. Look, even the side. So okay. it's a Sticky Heart Blind Box Series 1. And okay. you're just going to show this part. And then there's going to be a folded info sticky sheet. Things, just things. all you're going to remember is show the box. Okay. Open the info sheet and kind of show that through first. And then open the sealed bag. And then you can be like, oh my god, I got a blank. Okay, do you want me to do like an address of like, oh my gosh, guys. Like, yeah, into, yeah. like I'm talking about followers. Exactly. Okay, Very okay, like okay. Very much. You want me to put my influencer hat yes, on? Okay. Yes, yes. All right, let's. I have no influencer, but here we go. You basically are my influencer. I'm a, mi like, <laughs> I'm a micro influencer. You are everything and more about influencing. Okay. You are my Pinterest board. <laughs> You'll never forget. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm recording already. Oh my gosh, guys. I have the Sticky Heart Blind Box. This is the Series 1, and we are going to open it together. There's these different options over here. Here we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is so cute. Series one. Let's open. Let's see what we have here. <gasps> okay, okay. Look at the little doodles. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Ah, <gasps> uh, we got, I think what's this is a sleepy head. Yes, we got the sleepy head. Look at the little pillow. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I love it. Obsessed. Okay, I'm hitting record. Thank you. On the angle, then I will do Would you mind putting your suit jacket just for a second? Oh, yes. You can take it right off after. Here. We'll have you guys looking at me, doing hand motions, and then talking, and then Austin looking at Zach when you said, like, oh, yeah. Oh, we love recording. <laughs> and then you can slide over the paper towards me right here. Oh, actually, that's great. That's
My first solo exhibition was open from August 2nd to August 24th at Junior High Art Gallery, Los Angeles. I have the dream of this being a traveling show somehow, across countries and across continents. But for now, I'm storing it away and I wrote down Sticky Heart Gallery 2024 LA. This was really hard. I feel like it'll become even more worth it with time. I have a feeling that this is just the beginning. I had no idea what was coming when I sat down to write that journal entry. The last paragraph of the past future journal I wrote reads, Industry professional had a great impression of the show. Of course, as expected, comments of so many mediums being unfocused was and is still a discussion. However, my truth lied in my deepest pain. My pain believing that I will never succeed as an artist because I can't just choose something and stick to it. 
it hurt so much because I was denying my own reality. I am unfocused. My art is too. Through it, I produced an entire multimedia show with photography, paintings, sculpture, and installations. Like it or not, that's a freedom and right to each person who encounters this. However, the past year has undoubtedly become another living example of a tale so repeated it's now a stale cliché. Undoubtedly, truly, you must be yourself. There's no way around it. It is your only reality. The gallery marked the end of my nine years living in LA. I knew it was time for the next step. There was no way around it. So I booked my one-way ticket. These first 10 videos are my exposition episodes to catch you up to where we'll officially be starting. And after that, I have no idea what's coming. Thank you.